Crews race through the scene of a house fire just as the morning rush gets underway and three people are hurt. All are expected to be okay. Happened on 120th Avenue just south of Locust. Our caller, Wayne, talks to the man who helped save a family before it was too late. Neighbors watch in shock as an Omaha home goes up in flames. I'm ready to take the water hose and put it up myself. I, I just floored. I'm still in shock. A neighbor describes what happened just after 7 this morning. Crews showed up shortly after the call went out. Who do you need help getting out? What do you need me to do? But before they got there, Charles Piesinger jumped into action. He tells us he was driving down 120th Street when he noticed smoke and flames coming from the house. So I, you know, floored it up to the house, stopped, ran up to the door, and I tried to go straight in. After the family answered the door, he helped rush them to safety. I don't know. I didn't really think about anything other than, you know, some people needed help, so I, I need to help them. Without quick action, Omaha Fire tells us things could have ended a lot worse. The faster you can get alerted, whether it's through a neighbor or a smoke detector, um, and you can get out of the, the structure safely, uh, time is of the essence. Everyone was able to get out of the house with their lives, but there were minor injuries. The fire department says one man was treated for smoke inhalation. Two of the firefighters were also hurt, one treated for heat exhaustion and the other a twisted ankle. Still, despite his efforts to help, Peasinger doesn't consider himself a hero. He says he was just doing what anyone else would. I can't take credit for it, you know. There's a reason to rhyme for everything, and there's no coincidences. And, uh, you know, God deserves the glory, the glory, you know. In Omaha with photographer Ryan Millsap, Colin Ruwain, WOWT, 6 News. And last time we checked, the Omaha Fire Department investigating the cause of the fire and trying to determine how much smoke and water damage there is. The garage and kitchen are considered a loss.